Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. And welcome back to another Tablescape. So today I am taking my table from Thanksgiving to Christmas. I'm very excited because I actually bought these plates for my Christmas Tablescape last year after uh, Christmas and I've, I've had them all year and I haven't had a chance to use them. So today we are going to actually put them on the table. I am not 100% sure um, what else is going on the table yet. We're going to have to kind of see what looks good. So this is definitely a kind of work as you go kind of tablescape. <laughs> but to begin with, we're going to clear this table off. If you missed this one, with my pretty thankful name swags that I made with my Cricut. I will put a link below, but we are going to start by taking this off and then we will put the new plates on the table. I do think they're pretty blush and kind of mint green, which go with my blush and mint green kind of sea foam Christmas tree this year. If you want to see that, I will put a link to that as well. But um, it's it's a different kind of sea foamy Christmas this year and I am feeling it. So let's get started. I am going to apologize in advance for all of this. I have three puppies at my house right now and they have a puppy pen. I also having a new couch reupholstered. So my living room is tore up. I don't have a couch. I don't have anything. I have like one chair in there. So everything, including my side tables are just pushed around. So. We're going to focus on this part of the house because it's the only part that's working at the moment. And uh, just forget real life over there, okay? Let's work on the table. <laughs> so, let's start by just clearing this off. I love my little squirrel salt and pepper shakers. I don't think I have fancy Christmas salt and pepper shakers. It's a little sad. Ooh. It's gonna be harder than normal because this little dude just tried to get under my foot while I was holding adorable salt and pepper shakers. So they might actually have to go in the puppy pen. The girls are sleeping, so we'll see. Maybe he'll, maybe he'll take a nap. Do you think I'm gonna reuse these pink plates for the Christmas tablescape? It's either that or my white Mikasa plates. Guess we'll see. Step one, I do have a pretty white faux fur table runner on the island with all my mercury glass trees. So we're gonna start with a matching one on the table. So here are the plates. Are they not the prettiest thing you've ever seen? I just love it. They are Bits and Floyd Classic Choices Winter Holiday Santa Portrait. <laughs> I am obsessed. So, I'm not 100% sure about the pink plates, except that I really want that pink on Santa's robe to pop. And it does with the pink plates. If I use the white plates, the pink on Santa's robe will not pop. So maybe I shouldn't say I'm not so sure about the plates. Not so sure about chargers. So 
So I have champagne colored chargers. I have snowflake chargers. I also have straight copper chargers. When I looked at all three of them with the plates and the pink plates, I just wasn't sold. So let's see if maybe we just don't need chargers. We have the table runner. We'll go from there. Table, the snowflake ones will work. Have my snowflake cake stand. I used both of these on last year's Christmas table. I will link that below. I used really cute puppy dog plates last year that were a gift for my dad. So I don't have them anymore. But he does. Just couldn't not set a table with them before they went off. I do like them better with the snowflake chargers on the table. So here's the question. The other main thing that I have is my new gingerbread house with all the right colors, hoping it will be the perfect centerpiece. So we have the pretty pink cups and dessert bowls. Let's try those. Work. I need more trees. than the one on the island. Got them both from Hobby Lobby, but they must have been, must have been from different collections. If I had known how fluffy this one was, I would have put it on the island. That's pretty. Okay. okay. Question is, and the trees is too many trees. I have lots of trees, including little resin trees I made last year. Told you there'd be a project. That's 
either have this one. It was the exact same one as the other side. The other one I have is about this tall, so I think I'll go with this guy. That's more than enough trees. Silverware. Okay, so I have silver silverware and I have rose gold silverware. These plates actually have a little band of gold around them, so I'm not sure that rose gold is the thing. It might be. We're gonna try the silver first. I also have these antique uh, green knife rests. I've used these before. I've actually made resin copies of these because I wanted different colors. <laughs> I'll leave that below. But I think these actual green ones, which I very rarely use, might be just the thing. I'm not sure if they're quite the right green though. They look good. And I think with the white and silver trees, the silver is going to be better than the rose gold. There's no other rose gold on the table, so I think that's good. Now, I don't remember, does the knife go on the left or the right? Anybody else have to Google it every single time? Just me. I also need to get the rest of these out of the dishwasher. I can put the dog pen away, but even though I have the new washable rugs for the living room and dining room, I don't think y'all have even seen the living room one. You'll see it when I introduce the new reupholstered couch. Um, they wash really well, but like I said, three puppies, so I don't want to wash them every day. I like my fall flowers. and my antique silverware holders. These are always over on the buffet, so I don't know that y'all have ever seen them up close, but I have a pretty uh, nativity kind of scene for over there for Christmas, so. These will go away for a few months. Not even a few months, like, a month. I just got this and I have four angels that go with him and they have the pink and sea foam as well. So it's just a pink and sea foam Christmas. Anybody else has a problem getting things out of styrofoam, but I do. Here's the two big angels, a sea foam and a blue one. Oh, it's so ready. Here's the baby angels. I think I need to put like, I 
Maybe some little trees behind them in the buffet or something. Right now I have a few decorative plates that they won't go. That tree's too big. sure who's crying but one of my dogs is upset so I am going to go ahead and give you guys a close-up especially because the sun is starting to go down I don't know how much you can still see but we really like how it turned out especially with the nativity and all the colors literally I bought the plates and the gingerbread um, not thinking that I would be doing a blush and seafoam Christmas this year. I bought the nativity, the, the Mary, Joseph, and Jesus, and the angels at two separate times on two separate antique stores. And they also have the blush and the seafoam. So it just really came together this year um, in a very weird way, but I like it. I think it's really pretty. And I hope you guys like it too. So stay tuned. I will give you a close up, but have a good day. I guess that's it. Stay tuned. I'm going to do a whole house tour once my couch gets here. You want to see that? My. <laughs> All right, y'all. So here's the final table see just how pretty these plates are. Love the trees. Love the gingerbread house. Look beautiful with the pink swirl glasses. I think I like this one even better. There we go. That the pink of this tree with the glasses is just so good. And then the buffet in the background. I think this might be the best angle. Just ignore all of the, the carnage of putting the table together over there. Not everything is pretty. Here's the green of the knife rest. That literally works perfectly. close-up of the buffet. I love how that turned out. It's just so pretty for Christmas. And that's everything. I hope you all enjoyed this and I will see you next time. Bye.